kicking across towards the terrace side of the field deep to about one of their strong running second row forwards the tackler was Harrison north centre now Trelfo Valley's half back to Scanlon the 5-8 out wide to the full back Clark into the movement Abraham the winger a good run for Abraham down the touch line whipped back inside here's Scanlon backing up beautifully and Valley moved right downfield Abraham Pushed into touch and slow getting to his feet, but Valley now in a good attack as it moves across to Gill. Gill lobs one out wide now into, into uh, Smith. Smith looking to his winger Norris, and Norris is pulled down and into touch. 20 yards out. Well, that was some great attack from Valley. Some brilliant attack by Valleys, and they are carrying two casualties at the moment. Abraham's received a nasty bump from Richards, but is back onto the field. Uh, the 5 8 uh, Marty Scanlon uh, seems to have received a bump low down, just below the pelvis. And there is a North's man also on the field, Peter Stapleton, who received a, a very nasty bump in the opening minute of play. Well, it's certainly been fast and hard and tough in these first few minutes of play. Only about two minutes, two and a half minutes on the clock. No score, but players from both sides have been feeling the effects already of some pretty hard bumps. Crowd of about 30,000 here at Lang Park. Referee Ron Ward. Puts the scrum down, it's only 20 yards out from North's line. Brown's ball into the scrum, North skipper back on Valley side. Trelfo claimed immediately by Brown. Trelfo back Perkins. Taking on North's forwards. Gill in the dummy half position. Here's McCabe, the big youngster. Valley's forwards not frightened to take North's on. Front on and down the middle, which uh, rather surprises at this stage. Here's a field goal attempt from Smith with North's picking up the, the loose ball. And it's uh, Hall, the front row forward. Stapleton, down the middle. North forwards uh, returning the compliment of Valleys by coming straight down the middle then. And here's Hall, just wide of the ruck and straightening up down the middle. Plenty of defenders for Big Peter Hall. North's heavyweight prop. And it gained a couple more yards. He certainly knows how to take advantage of every situation. As John Brown serves the blind side to uh, Lilly. Winger, right winger, Eric Lilly. One of the tacklers was Krilly, number nine, the other one was Gill. Now Lobergeiger up behind that movement to the 5'8", and then uh, Pine Hands trying to get it away as it bonked across, picked up by Perkins. Telfo, Scanlon, the 5'8". Mick Rexis was coming inside, but it's across to Ray Smith in the centres. Harrison trailing him across and takes him, half takes him after he'd kicked the ball, but uh, Lobergeiger picking it up, and under pressure Lobergeiger, Norris coming at him, and so too is another player up there as well. But the touch judge's flag is up indicating something. There's a, a fight going on on the sideline. The referee holding up play. Harrison is involved in the skirmish with another Valley's player, apparently following the incident with Smith. Yes, and I think you will find that there will be a penalty awarded to Valley's as Harrison claimed Smith after he had kicked the ball. They carried on the movement over the touchline on the running side of the field in one of the tracks in one of the running lanes, and I've no doubt that there will be a penalty awarded to Valley's. Yes, I think that referee Henry Albert, who got onto the ground very smartly to uh, notify the referee Ron Ward of that incident, but um, now Lover Geiger is on the ground following the tackle and he picked up the loose ball. Harrison is the player being called out. 
who uh, had a half headlock on Smith, but appeared to be letting Smith go uh, uh, and trying to get away from the movement. I think he was coming into the pack. I didn't see what happened after that as we looked, followed the ball down to Labour Geiger, but it's a penalty, two valleys in a pretty convenient spot, although it's well back, but um, nevertheless, it's on the 25 and about four yard, three yards in from touch. A difficult kick of Clark, but still, it's quite a possibility that uh, he could kick this one. Five minutes of play, no score, but quite a sensational start. Comes in for the kick, and there it goes. It's a good kick from Clark. Look, looks good. There it is. The flags are up. The Hullies have opened the scoring, and Valleys lead Norths by two points to nil. Play has been in progress for six minutes in the first half. Hall distributes at this time as it comes across the streak and then to the 5-8 to Lobergeiger. Lobergeiger coming up into the movement now behind that player tackled. And uh, the North's player is Harrison who's getting very slowly to his feet to uh, play the ball. Here's um, Klein hands to Pute. In the centre, Lobergeiger in the dummy half position. Brown, field goal at no, it's an up and under from Brown into the goal mouth. Clark under pressure, has put, tried it. Massey tried to pull it down, Clark gathers for Valley to save the day, and it's only a yard out. Massey went very close to pulling that one down, but Clark has it for Valley. North, North, he's a big strong centre, about 14 stone, formerly a second row forward. Certainly would, and uh, during the last few minutes we've seen two fights on the field. We didn't see them actually on the screen as the ball, as the camera was following the uh, sequence of the ball, but over in the top bottom right hand corner of the screen there was a skirmish in which four players were involved, two of Valleys and two of Norths. It was just after that that we saw Harrison hurt. I think he's feels, feel, holding his ribs as he leaves the field. Possibly it could be uh, a rib injury. Valleys tall, front row prop, Arthur Mears. 35 yards out from North line, Trelfo plays it back, it's sent back to Ray Smith, a field goal attempt from a long way up. And the piece is, is it there? Yes, it's there! A very good field goal for Ray Smith, and Valley's going to the lead of four points to nil after just on 12 minutes of play in the first half. Kick this one as he comes in, and there it goes, it looks good, he's raised the flags. It's 4-2. Not much in this game, but we've seen plenty of incidents so far in, in the first 15 minutes of play. Wrapped up immediately, Retzler's racing in up high, underneath was Scanlon. They certainly wrapped him up, made no mistake about it, and this is Klein hands. And uh, running from dummy half goes Lobergeiger. Close to the halfway mark as uh, Hooker Wilson distributes to Brown. Brown tries the little kick and was bowled over after he kicked the ball, or just as he kicked it. Brown left on the ground. Another injured player on the ground is Lobergeiger, and the ball is uh, into touch. And what happened there, Ted? I missed that. I was looking back at Lobergeiger. Well, it looks as though Abraham's just received a backhander and is on the ground now. He's received a nasty one, but the referee had awarded a penalty to Norths for interference, and uh, now the Norths player, Richards, is being called out. Here's the man who uh, laid Abrahams out on that occasion. Now, uh, this will be interesting, the referee having awarded a penalty. The penalty was given after Johnny Brown was flattened that is quite after true. he kicked the ball. And then subsequent to that, we see an incident where a North man has been penalised. So it is an interesting so situation. Norris underneath well, him, away, back to Brown, handled very well and lobbed right across to Pute. Pute into Old Retzel, waiting there to wrap him up. Line, Scanlon to play the ball back. Richless in the dummy half position, sends it to Trelfo. Trelfo to Gill. Gill then to uh, Mears, and uh, Mears plonking, tries to get one out wide, picked up by Klein Hands, and Klein Hands running strongly up to the halfway mark goes Klein Hands. He's covered by Smith, the centre, and Smith puts him down, but what a great run then from Klein Hands. 12 yards inside North's territory. Wilson, the hooker, looking around to pass the ball, but couldn't, couldn't unload it. Johnny Brown, the skipper of the side in the dummy half position, gives it then to Streak. Third tackle indicated. Wilson distributes to Brown. Brown inside to Peter Hall. Bounces away from Crilly and allowed to pass the ball back to Labour Geiger. Streak. Valley's defence holding good against a very determined attack. Well, Morse is certainly, although facing the breeze, running into it. Labour Geiger has it set. 29 yards out. Right in front. And this could make it 4-all in the 1970 Grand Final. There it goes. And it's there. 
It's Evan Stevens after 30 minutes of tough, hard football. Gordon. Pass back to Richless. Richless is kicking using the breeze as he kicks across, but it goes more downfield. Loba Geiger running back to his own tail try line to pick it up. And up comes Peter Loba Geiger. O'Doherty's there with him, and he dummies towards his winger. Gets it away this time. Well done, Loba Geiger. As Lilly bounces along the touchline, he beats Gill's tackle over the halfway mark. Paul Wright running strongly and loses the ball in the tackle. And now North keep pushing it downfield as Valley gather it. And as the advantage rule applies, McCabe hits the ground. Valley's big, strong, 19-year-old front row forward for Valley. The third tackle indicator, and here's Hall trying to push away from Crilly. One-handed pass back to Wilson, and it's lobbed back, gathered by O'Doherty. The Valley hooker appears to have the ball, and it's a Valley ball. But the referee ruling a knock-on, and the, rather no, the half-time hooter has sounded. And that's the score at half-time in a hard, tough first half. Valley's lead North by six points to four. On Valley's 25. In again, referee for the match, Ron Wood. Valley ball and Gill. Penalty to North. Yes, against the halfbacks. Trophos, the base of the rack. Loba Geiger attempting to make it three out of three and level the scores at six all. Two minutes of play in the second half as Peter Loba Geiger comes in for the kick. It's a pretty good attempt. It's there. It's six all start for the second half. Scanlon trying to get it off the ground. He does so too to Maguire. Beautifully picked up off his toes and loses the ball. And now it tripped, a deliberate trip from Valley's hooker O'Dowdy of fine hands. But how North didn't get a penalty then I'll never know because Gill and plenty of defenders there for him. But he's only 12 yards out from the line. Gill lock forward to play it back. O'Dowdy to Trelfo out wide to Scanlon. Scanlon then to Beers racing through the, the big fella. But Two or three defenders in there, including Peter Hall for the tackle. Now Scanlon puts it on the Trelfo. Trelfo tries to find the gap and very nearly through with the staple than one of the tacklers. Valley, the pressure right on North. Now the field goal attempt from Smith is very close. It's there. The field goal attempt from Ray Smith. And Valleys have hit the lead again. Valleys leading North by eight points to six. Well, what a match this is. In the halfway mark. 15 minutes of play remaining in the 1970 Rugby League Grand Final before a crowd of 30,000 at Lang Park and North's ball out to Adams. Adams to Gordon in the centres. Gordon um, doesn't quite know where to go then as Valley's defence had moved up very quickly. Now Wilson, the hooker, sends it to Brown. Brown to Kleinhan, standing out wide. Kleinhan tries to push through a tackle by Ross Trelfo, but he clings to him and puts him down on the 25. Now to Brown, North's skipper. Adams, the 5'8", full back Loba Geiger, and here's Adams, Jimmy Adams. Tackle by Scanlon. Third tackle indicated, North send it back, it's back to Loba Geiger, the field goal attempt from Loba Geiger, and there it goes, is it away? It's there! It's there! It's 8 all! 14 minutes of play remaining, and it's 8 all. Well, North had to take those points there. They certainly did, and an excellent kick by Peter Loeber Geiger. He was under pressure. He didn't have all the time in the world in which to size up the situation. He obviously called for it, set himself and plunked it over, no hesitation. Now Clark kicks deep down into North's territory. Eric Lilly, the winger, covers it. And it's Lilly to run it up as Smith comes to him, but he runs away from Smith and inside, Lilly up to the halfway mark, over the halfway mark, and finally scored by Mears. Well, Valley's defence certainly held off then to let Eric Lilly run, and North have got the chance to get on to Massey, Massey to Stapleton, Stapleton running hard, a high tackle from McCabe around the top of the ears, but uh, put him to ground anyway, as Wilson sends the pass on to Brown, North's in full flight, on to Hall, Hall trying to surge his way through, but the defence was too good. Mears was in there. Back to Loba Geiger, another field goal attempt, and there it goes, but it appears to be well away to the right of the post, and it is, but the pressure is now on. Right on. certainly on. It was O'Doherty who wrapped Loba Geiger up just as he was setting himself for that ball, and he certainly shook him up there. See him getting up slowly, rubbing his head as he received that elbow from O'Doherty as he moved in quickly. So, O'Doherty takes the kick from the 25 to Perkins, and Perkins is tackled. 
Been a hard, tough grand final, but what a grand battle it's been. Leon Maguire, not allowed to move much. Hall, one of the tacklers in there, and Henry Albert is on the field again. The touch judge has moved in to indicate that a right arm was brought up in the tackle. Stapleton being indicated, North's front row forward, as Albert retires to the sideline. And it's a penalty to Valleys. Midfield, right across the grandstand side of the field, to cover the kick by Norris. Good positional play. And it goes. Moves across to Scanlon. Scanlon to Rexless. Rexless the fullback. Clark. Clark running strongly. Here's Valley's chance now. It's whipped across to Abraham. Abraham backwards to Smith. And Smith rolls it along the ground. The Trelfo play on to the referee. And the referee's knocked over. Referee's in the game. That's the way this game's going. Gill sends it on to Perkins. Perkins to Scanlon to Rexless. Rexless looking around for support now. As he bounces away. Mick Rexless running strongly. Here's Valley's chance. And Rexless is down. Only eight yards out from the corner. Very nearly the first try of the match as O'Dowdy tries to force his way through, but it's a north ball. Massey jumps high and pushes it into touch to kill the movement. And meantime, Abraham is injured out on the sideline over on the terrace side of the field. However, he's penalised for scooping the ball away within seconds of full time, and Valleys have a great chance to snatch a dramatic win. From a fairly acute angle, Clark takes the kick on the 25. It swings wide and Valleys run the ball out about 12 yards as the hooter sounds. With the score 8 all, referee Ward signals extra time, 10 minutes each way. The first occasion such a decision has been necessary since 1935 when brothers went on to defeat Valleys. Peter Lomagiger kicking deep into Valleys territory over Clark's head. Back over his try line. Clark to run it up now. 10 yards out, Massey dives in but misses him. And uh, Adams is there for the tackle. Valley, Maguire, Adams trailing him through and pushes away from one player. Maguire, he bowled over a North player, the 5'8 uh, Adams, as he plays it back. Trelfo, Scanlon, Rechless, looks towards Mears. The little kick from Mick Rechless, who was half knocked over. Following through goes Lilly, and uh, rather, is it Lilly? It must be on the other side wing. I can't see who that North player is. It is Lilly. He came across, and now his fullback over tested now. Stapleton, pass to Brown, Brown to Hall, Hall tries to charge through, and North's using these big forwards again. The third tackle indicated, look at Lobergeiger coming up with a field goal attempt, was he? He was getting into position for it. A long pass out wide, and look at Adams flying to the corner, Jimmy Adams is over. Adams has scored the only try of the match. Norths have scored and hit the front to lead by 11 points to 8. Jimmy Adams scored in the corner. Here it is again on Action Replay. North's leading 11-8, Lobergeiger attempting to make it 13-8 in this first 10 minutes of the time on period. Peter Lobergeiger, a long kick from out on the touchline, a very difficult place to kick goals from, and into the breeze, and it looks to be in front of the post, waved away. And North hold a slender lead of three points, but the game's not over yet, as uh, Adams was underneath, and Gordon over the top. Sent on to Trelfo, Trelfo then to Perkins, Perkins out wide to Clark, Clark props and comes up the middle, Clark up to the halfway mark, a very strong run from Clark and kicks ahead, he could be there too, he's racing through, it's a good run, Richards and Lobergeiger, here's Clark right on behind them, and Lobergeiger picks it up and forces the ball, so the pressure is right back on North then, a great chance then for Valleys to score. And all the scrums are 22 all, and the penalties 9 all. North's lead 11-8, it can't be very long now before the first of the 10 minutes is played. Moved across to Scanlon, Scanlon to Rechless, back again, dummy that's crossed to Gill, Gill out wide to Ray Smith, a nice move from Valleys, Smith looking around now as he's trying to get support, but Massey said enough of that too, and over the top for the second tackle, making sure that he didn't pass the ball, Gill runs from the dummy half position, Lily underneath him, and Perkins running strongly, very nearly in, got the pass away to Gill, and Gill dies to the corner, and Gill is over! The second try of the match, and it's 11 all, the crowd have gone wild! Here it is.
is again on action replay. Sets this one. He could easily kick this one. The crowd standing up everywhere. Starting to sit down now. As other people are telling them to sit down, they can't see. Another vital kick for Norman Clark. 11 all. One try each. A great fight back from Valley. And there's Clark's kick, and that's a good kick. Look at it. Right down the seemed to be the impossible. They came back and they've hit the front. 13-11. Most, I should imagine. Of this first 10 of minutes. This first 10 and minutes. then a, a, ch a changeover of players to change ends. It's uh, North Ball. Brown gives it to Labour Geiger. Labour Geiger props it and tries to come inside. There's no one close enough to feed the ball back to as he spun around. And there's the whistle. 10 minutes is up. 10 minutes remaining in the game. And the kids think the game's over. They're all running onto the ground. They don't understand this rule of the 10 minutes each way extra and uh, are about to be chased back off the field again. <laughs> it's rather a funny one, isn't it? <laughs> I've never seen this happen before. That's right. I think the usual thing is to get in front of the TV camera and throw your arms and the legs and do a lolly dance. Seems to be the popular thing. <laughs> then go home and have a look at it. But it's back to the halfway mark. Nort's now running with the assistance of the North Easterly Breeze for the final 10 minutes. Who knows, we could be back here next week. At the same time, same station. Clark placing it on the halfway mark. And taking his time about it too. Why wouldn't he waste time? Some of the kiddies still on the field, the policemen ushering them away. Valleys lead 13-11. Clark kicks deep into North Territory. Johnny Brown pulls it down, makes sure of it. And returns the kick. Over the halfway mark, Clark takes it on the bounce and uh, now we'll run it up. North's moving up, Massey moving across field, here's Gill. Gill gets away from Thompson, Norris flying. The left winger, really tearing when he got onto the ball, Norris. Ten yards inside North's territory, Mick Retchless in the dummy half position. The pass comes back to Trelfo. Trelfo moving across, there's plenty of defenders there including Stapleton. Wilson plays it back onto Massey. Massey sends it to Brown. Brown lobbed it right out wide to Richard. To Richard running slowly up to the 25. He's got the crowd to their feet. And the heavyweight wingers down 15 yards out in the line. One tackle to go. Gordon in the dummy half position. Ian Massey said, I'll swing this one across as it comes on to Brown. Brown to Peter Hall. And Hall's going to try to go through himself. He sends it back to Wilson. Wilson sending it on now to Stapleton. When it comes to Brown. Brown back to Richard. And Richard flying to the corner. With Gordon over. Gordon's over. Flags up. Flags up. Flags up. Flags up. Flags up. I thought for a moment it was out to the winger Richards, but it was Gordon inside of him. The flag is up, just put his foot out, ever so close, but not Midway quite good enough. And goes down in centre field, midway between the 25 and the halfway mark. It's on to Johnny Brown, he's going to kick, kicks over the heads, following through comes Clark. Racing down comes another North player, is Adams, and uh, Clark gathers it just in from touch. Pushes away, grabs his man, and Abraham runs it up the valley, and towed through with Gordon coming through for the tackle. <coughs> running through, I, I should have said a moment ago, as the play comes back, on to Gill. Gill running across field now, Stapleton's there, back on to Maguire, down the centre, but offside. <coughs> forward pass, forward pass, indicated. North thought they had their hope there for a moment, but it's a, it was off, a forward pass, not offside play. The play must finish, the scrum has to go down, time is up. Crowd roaring onto the field, it's a valley ball and it looks to be all over now. No, it's a north ball, whose ball is it? Johnny Brown has the ball, but it's just about to go dead as Valley's holding it up, and it's all over. Valley's has won the grand final. Well done, Valley, a tremendous victory. Congratulations, Mick Retzlis. You certainly deserved it playing in your fourth grand final. You deserve this victory, a hard, tough match. Congratulations, Valley. Congratulations, North 2, on a great game. It was well worth seeing. These 30,000 people here enjoyed every moment of this great grand final. 
but it's all over for 1970 and Valleys have defeated Norths by 13 points to 11 after leading 6-4 at half time.